Hello. Oh, hello everyone. It's Tweet Tab time where we follow everyone so you don't have to. I'm your host, Mike Falzone. I have no co host today. Some people have real jobs. Either way, I'll make do. I may not say anything cute or have any little one liners, make any squeaky little noises, but I did bring myself coffee, so pretty good start so far. Today we're doing a special hashtag highlight episode. Our friends at the Daily Edge have hand selected some tweets for us using the recently popular hashtag, you might be a Republican if. And it's okay for me to do these jokes because you know how Stephen Colbert doesn't see race? Well, I don't see politics at all. I, to me, it doesn't exist. Leaving the pack, we have the Daily Edge itself with this one. You might be a Republican if you think when Jesus said to look after the poor, sick, and elderly, he meant corporations and billionaires. Ah, it's one for the Dems. I like to switch words around like this. Like, obviously what he meant was poor, sick, and elderly, but you switch that to corporations and billionaires. That's just wordplay. That's all that is. You ever do the thing with the fortune cookie? You read the fortune, then you say, in bed, and then you replace the beginning with your name, and then is a thunder god? Statistician Peter Flom. Peter Flom? For real? We'll get back to that in one second. Hold on. Statistician Peter Flom wants you to know you might be Republican if you think the government should make it harder to love each other, but easier to kill each other. This one makes you think. I love when the government tells me who to love. Because you know what? It's a tough world out there in the field, playing the field. And it's just easier when the government's like, well, you see this whole section of people? You can't, they're out. Do us a solid and don't date this section of people. And then I would say, thank you, government, because you've narrowed down the pack. Now it's slim pickings. <laughs> Real quick, going back to Peter Flom. Do you remember Flom? You know who probably does remember Flom? The editors of this show. Do you accept the challenge? Flom. Challenge accepted. Ah! Roll it, mold it, or cover it. Flom. It's fun you can feel. Flom. Nickelodeon Flom. Peter Nickelodeon Flom. Nickelodeon would be a great middle name, by the way, should you choose to choose. Let's just move on. From the always fun tea party cat, this one. You might be a Republican if you worry about how Obama is hurting small businesses while you shop at Walmart. Ah, that's the pot calling the kettle uh, hurting small businesses. It's like when you go to LA and people are like, yo, let's just go to a diner. Let's just go to a diner. And then 30 minutes later, you're at a Denny's and they're like, oh, thank God for these diners, dude. Denny's not a diner. No one knows Denny. Anyway, just had a great conversation with a fellow tea partier I ran into at Walmart. She said, Obama is hurting small businesses in this country. I don't know why, man. I saw that lady's face. I'm like, you're from Michigan. Actually, the average Walmart is just like a mom and pop shop, only 7,000 times bigger and owned by a mega corporation and all of their merchandise is made in China. So yeah, blue in a red state tells us you might be a Republican if you boo a United States soldier who served in Iraq just because he's gay. These are, these had a tinge of, of humor in them and now they're just nasty. You might as well switch the hashtag to you're probably an and finally, LOL GOP gives us perhaps the most important reminder of all. You might be a Republican, but you don't have to dance like it. You know, with the conventions and the a lot of finger pointing on this. That could just say you might be old and white, but you don't have to dance like it. You can drop it, drop it low, girl. You can drop it low, pick it up slow, move it all around, twerk it out like your back broke. And then when you're fixing your back, try to fix the economy as well. Political things. So if there's anything this episode solidified for me, it's that this country will never be won again. <laughs> Thanks for everything, especially to our friends at the Daily Edge for providing us with tweets today. Thank you so much for working with us. It's a knockout collabo. A one, two, three, four, five, six. My feet are moving. Can't see it. Me? I'm Mike Falzone, the host. I put out new videos every Tuesday and every Friday. Blown you, Quouch. We're gonna have to start subtitling that last line for people to get it. All right, I like you very much. I'll see you soon. Peace.